Jan, uh, haven't spoken to each other in quite some time. Uh, how are you doing? Yeah, I've been better, uh, as you can uh, can see probably. But uh, yeah, it's tough. It's uh, it's a part of the job. It's part of football, but it's uh, it's brutal. Brutal. How have the last few weeks since uh, the relegation been for you? The weeks before that? Nah, I've been uh, chaotic. Uh, a lot of things happening uh, in and around the club, and uh, yeah, a bit messy. And uh, yeah, of course we we haven't. Uh, performed as we would like, as we haven't done for uh, yeah, since I came here, really. So uh, yeah, it's uh, it's tough, uh, but I can imagine it's uh, it's even tougher for everyone who who's loved the club since they were born and uh, have a big heart for the club. So uh, I uh, we can feel it as players as well. That uh, it's not a nice feeling. Yeah, you you seem to feel really responsible for this. Yeah, I like to take responsibility uh, when things are going good and when things are going bad. Uh, I want to, uh, to to do even more than I can. Uh, is one way to say it. Uh, yeah, I hope I hope I've, people see I've, I've given a hundred percent, and uh, I know it's not not enough. But uh, yeah, it's 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 tough, really. It's uh, it's hard to to put words in it. It seems like you feel sorry even. Yeah, the, that's the word for it. Uh, we can't do nothing but apologize to everyone uh, in the club and uh, outside the club. Uh, things haven't been working so it's uh, and we haven't been able to turn it around as well. So Now we're relegated as well, so uh, hopefully next, next season start fresh and uh, build, build the club up again. Uh, I, believe, uh, I believe in that. I spoke to you, I think, half a year ago, Herevain away, and you seemed energetic. You were motivated. You, you were looking forward to uh, to your time at Groningen, and yeah, you seem devastated right now. Is this what half a year at Groningen or this half a year at Groningen can do to someone? <laughs> yeah, no. This situation is we just lost six 0 so maybe it's uh, because of that. Uh, otherwise, I want to bring energy. I want to bring. Uh, yeah, bring energy into the team, into the group, and uh, be positive and push, push each other, push myself. So, uh, but right now, uh, yeah, a little, little resigned, disappointed, and uh, embarrassed. You expected more from your time at Groningen so far, right? Yeah, I, I, of course, I hoped and imagined for for a better outcome than, than what has happened. Uh, that's not the case. But uh, as I said in the previous interview as well, I, I don't regret coming here at all anyway. Will you be here at the club uh, next year? You talked about rebuilding the club. Yeah, it's, it's uh, too early to say really. I, I don't know. I see a lot of speculation about uh, a clause in my contract and, uh, and in this kind of stuff, but uh, I really don't want to comment too much on uh, my, my personal details of my contract. No. Yeah, because there is a re release clause in your contract, so you could go, go for a limited, uh, limited sum of money. Yeah, I've seen some people say that. Uh, as I said, I don't want to... Well, if it's not true, I mean, you have the opportunity to deny it now. I don't want to confirm or, or deny it, uh, of course. But uh, it's, of course, when I signed for the, the club, it was in a tough tough spot. So it was normal to, to have some reassurances when I signed the contract as well. So that's, that's really all I want to, to say about it. But whether there is a clause or not, um, if it's up to you, would you stay at the club next year? Or if there's a good opportunity, you'd like to take it? I don't want to close the, the opportunity. I'm not going to confirm or deny deny anything here. Uh, I need to need to finish the season strong now, and uh, then I go to the Euros, and then uh, there's some time to, to think and uh, yeah, think about uh, what the best way is uh, moving forward. Thanks, man. Good luck.